Hi, I'm Terry from My Baby, and today we're going to be talking about our MB200 Plus and how to convert your push chair to take your carry cot or your car seat. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is we'll remove the canopy. And you'll need to remove the bumper bar by pressing the two buttons underneath. Okay, now the MB200 Plus has a drawstring back seat recline. So this actually allows you to remove the fabrics completely and have a very clean looking chassis once you've got your carry cot or your car seat in place. So there is a strap actually underneath the push chair, but it's just a simple case of undoing the Velcro. Then you pull the fabric off the calf support. You'll need to make sure that you unclip the fabric sides on both sides here. And that is your seat fabric removed. Really easy. Next thing you'll need to do, you need to make sure the pins that are on the side of the push chair, the MB200 Plus, are actually pulled out. So they're just sitting either side and just give them a tug and you'll hear them lock into place. Once that's done, your MB200 Plus is ready to take your carry cot. So the carry cot is suitable up to six months of age or nine kilos and it always goes parent facing. All you need to do is ensure that these line up with the pins on the side. And it will lock into place and you'll hear both sides click. And if you want to be sure, just make sure that it's actually fully engaged. And that is how you fit your carry cot. Now to remove the carry cot, there's two triggers inside here. So just squeeze them both up. That's how you remove your carry cot. And then if you actually want to fit your car seat, you'll need the car seat adapters, which come free of charge with your MB200 Plus. These are actually marked with a left and a right. Make sure they're fully engaged and you will hear a click. And then make sure that the insert is lined up with the car seat handle. And that is your car seat installed. Now this is a group zero plus suitable up to 13 kilos. And that's all you need to do to install your car seat. And to remove the car seat, there's two red buttons just on the inside of the handles. Just press those and it lifts off. Then to remove the car seat adapters, you just pull this trigger up here on both sides and they lift off. Really simple. And then all you need to do to put the car seat, uh, the push chair seat fabrics back on is reverse the process. And I'll show you how to do that now. So just reverse the process. So put on the calf support fabrics first. Make sure that it's correctly seated. And the straps that you undid earlier on, just make sure they are wrapped around the frame. And just connect those back up. Remember there's two of them. Really easy to do. Only takes a matter of minutes to do the whole conversion. Okay, that's one done.
if you find this a little bit fiddly, then um, just get yourself in a more comfortable position to carry this out. Okay, that's that done. Next thing you need to do, make sure that these two lugs are lined up with the keys on both sides of your frame. Click both into place, do the same on both sides. Okay, that's now done. Pop your bumper bar back on. And then simply reattach your hood. These just slide on. And that is all you need to do to convert your MB200 Plus from a push chair to take the carry cart, take the car seat and back again. Make sure you read the instructions.